luxury hybrid. She's here in Vegas and we're gonna do a little meetup. Last time I seen her was in 2017 in New York. I do believe she, it might have been later than that if she came here. I know she's been here more times and I've seen her here more times than she's seen me over there. Actually, you know what? It, the last time was when um, she was here. So it wasn't in 2017. It was probably 2019 or something before the pandemic. All right. I'll see you guys later. Boyfriend Anthony. Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Oh, I'm Robbie. So nice meeting you. you. Sweet. All right, let me Three meet Three and a half going on 30. Hi, sweetie. Hi, lady. How are you? I'm good. How are you? of what was on the exam was not anything I studied in the course. It was not in the course at all. So actually there's two parts. So you have a state test and you have a um, national test. I passed the state test. The national is what I couldn't pass. So I just winged it and answered their multiple choice. So when you have one third of <laughs> of a chance of actually uh, getting the answer right. So I ended up winging it and you need a 75 to pass. I passed with the 70. So <laughs> I was like, well, I guess that's pretty good for not knowing majority of the answers on the questions, you know, that I wasn't familiar with that wasn't in the course. I don't know what questions I got right and what I got wrong. So with that being said, when I do take it again, you know, it, I could miss those questions this time. But like I said, I bought books um, and a lot of me reading through the books, a lot of the stuff 
that was on the test that wasn't in my course I came across. The real estate company Keller and Williams, they pretty much had me going to their seminars and everything like that. So I pretty much have a job <laughs> with the real estate company, but I just got to get my license. And once I do that, then I'm good to go. It's only going to be you know, at my leisure. I'm not looking for a full-time job. They'll just be, you know, part-time or really trying to sell or, you know, help someone sell their home or purchase a home like through my family members or friends or something like that. I'm just not going to be out advertising it real tough because technically I'm retired now and retired is retired and therefore I prefer to, um, you know, work at my own leisure and not be under anybody else's control as to when I got to work, how long I have to work and all that stuff. So it's nice of them to allow me to attend their events and seminars for that they have for their actual employees. And I'm not quite an actual employee. So, so yeah, that's what my day is going to consist of. It's supposed to be um, about two and a half hours long. Let's hope that I stay awake because a lot of times I get bored. But actually with these classes or seminars and, and different uh, teachings I've been going through, uh, going to with this, they are interesting. And I, I have learned a lot and maybe a lot of, you know, a few things from me going to this, I will learn for when I have to take my exam again on the 17th, but we shall see. All right, guys, I will talk to you.